Hello, have you ever considered what your life would look like in the future if you had more cash left over at the end of the month than you did bills today? Well, listen, stay tuned. I'll be right back and we're going to talk about a good financial strategy and plan that you can use. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Randy Chambliss. I'm the executive director of the Louisiana Housing Authority. I'm a corporate branch manager with Geneva Financial. I'm a speaker, financial educator, and also the co-host of the Mortgage Wise radio show and video podcast. So listen guys, there's two financial objectives that everybody wants to accomplish, but there's also four challenges that you have to be aware of and accept and overcome in order for you to meet your two financial objectives. And I'm also going to share the three solutions that you can implement today to change the trajectory of your finances in the future. So financial fitness awareness, guys, is everything. So let's dive into it. What are those two financial objectives that everybody wants to accomplish? Well, number one is to sustain your current lifestyle, right? So the bills that you have today, you want to be able to go to work, put your labor in, right? And then come back home with your paycheck to be able to pay all your bills and have money left over at the end of the month so you can do what you want to do. Whether that's give to a charity, whether it will take vacations, to go to uh, extraordinary uh, dinner locations, whatever you like to do, you have the cash left over at the end of the month to do that, month after month, right? And now the second financial objective everybody wants to accomplish at some point in the future, they want to retire from corporate America. They want to be financially and time free, right? But that's going to be determined by the work you put in today and the decisions you make today about your finances, right? Because we cannot count on the government, which is social security to help us in the future. And you cannot rely on corporate America, which is a pension plan because those are almost obsolete, right? So you have to be able to start, create, and build a sustainable business today or investment uh, strategy today. That's gonna be able to take care of your future lifestyle. So your future lifestyle, you want it to look exactly like it is today, right? Having enough cash left over at the end of the month than you do bills or even greater lifestyle, right? But again, that's four challenges that you have to know, be aware of, and more importantly, you got to accept it and overcome it. So let's dive into some of them. So I'm not going to go into great details in this video, but let's just touch up on credit, right? If your credit score is low, right, then that means that you're going to get a higher interest rate versus if your credit score is good and excellent, you're going to get a lower interest rate. You go to the auto dealership and you're looking for a $20,000 auto loan purchase, right? A purchase, then your interest rate might be 16% or even greater if you have bad credit versus if you have good to excellent credit, it might be 2% even less. You see the difference? Number two we talked about is taxes. Many people don't really realize that taxes actually causes debt, right? And that is that third challenge that we have to overcome. But let's talk about taxes real quick. You go to work, you're taxed, then you pay your bills, right? That's typically how they go, right? So when you go to your banker, right, your banker, whether it's an auto loan you're trying to create, a mortgage lender, or whatever loan you're trying to obtain, then one of the questions that's going to be asked to you is, what is your gross income before any taxes come up? And you're going to probably say whatever you earn, right? So let's say it's $50,000, right? So you blur out here, $50,000 earned gross a year, right? But actually, after the taxes is taken out, you only bring home about $38,000 a year, right? So taxes actually causes debt. Most people are not aware of that, right? So what happens now? Taxes actually creates debt. Well, now there's a gap between a $38,000 uh, income that you physically bring home versus the $50,000 lifestyle you created for yourself. Your mortgage, your auto loan, all the other personal loan, this whole lifestyle is based around $50,000. And so that gap between, you have to bridge that gap. Oftentimes, people try to pick up a part-time job to be able to do short-term, to be able to catch up, but then often that second part-time job actually turn into a uh, long-term strategy because they cannot get off because they haven't got the finances together still. They just created more debt. Now they're obligated to keep that second job part-time. I'm seeing people working two full-time jobs now, right? because they're trying to bridge that gap. 
or they go into their credit cards because now their credit score is low, right? Now they're using credit card debt to pay for that gap. And that's how debt is created. So now we look up, you have one person that's working two full-time jobs, they got high bills, they have high debt, and now the children is not at home being coached and mentored by the parents because they're out trying to work, right? Let alone if it's a single parent, right? That's not even getting to that right now, right? Which is a major thing in our community. But now we talked about credit, we talked about taxes, and we talked about debt, right? We have to control debt. And last, let's talk about consuming spending, right? Spending habits, right? We have to be disciplined with our spending. So that's gonna be the fourth um, um, challenge that we have to overcome. So when we look at these four, right? Each one takes about a fourth out of your paycheck, right? I'm not a mathematician. I didn't get an MBA in math. But one thing I know, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, and one fourth makes a whole. That's why you have no money left over at the end of the month. Trust me, I've been there, right? I've done that, right? So that's why I can speak it, speak on it with passion and confidence, right? So let's look at a financial strategy, right? Your financial fitness, right? You have to get your fitness in order, not only in your physical body, but in your finances as well. So number one, guys, you want to have a financial plan. That's the first solution, financial plan, a practical plan. And not only have it, you have to follow it, right? Be disciplined with it, right? So what that means is that you want to raise up your credit score. You want to lower your living expenses every month. Your monthly living expense, you have to lower that. Number two, you want to get rid of that debt as much as you can. One of my favorite books say you owe no man anything but love. That's the only thing you owe, right? right? So that is going to be your solution. Now, having said that, the second solution is that you need to get your business, right? Get yourself a business so now you can get access to tax write-offs. I don't care if it's a network marketing company business. I don't care if it's a home-based business. I don't care if you're baking cakes. I don't care if you're cutting grass. I don't care if you're building a multi-million dollar corporation. You have franchised it, right, all across the country. You still get access to the same tax advantages as a small home-based business or network marketing business. Get you a business, right? So that way you can take advantage of those things. For example, you're gonna buy clothes, right? Most likely you need some clothes to wear. But when you use, you have a business, right? And now you can write off a portion of your clothes cost because it's a business write-off. Most likely you're gonna eat out somewhere, right? You most likely travel, right? Well, you can use some of those traveling costs uh, for the airplane costs to the, the car rental to the hotel room. You can write off a portion of those items because you have a business. What you gonna do anyway as a human being, right? And then the third solution, guys, is investments, right? Me personally, you guys know me, I love real estate investing. That's my thing. That's what I've mastered over the years. That's what I'm comfortable at. But there's other investment opportunities out there as well. But real estate, right? Definitely make sure that you have your own home. That's number one. Be a homeowner. You already paying a mortgage already. You're paying your landlord's mortgage, right? Oftentimes, the home that you're living in and you're renting from your landlord, your landlord don't own it free and clear. Him or her has a mortgage on it, meaning that they want to got financing for it, meaning that they have a mortgage. So when you make your monthly payment, you're helping them to pay their mortgage and actually have cash flow left over to put in their pocket. So you are already paying the mortgage, right? So think about that, right? Why should you be paying rent that's sky high, right? And it's not the landlord fault, it's the powers that be. It's the global warming, right? There's a lot of things going on with global warming that's infecting the housing market. For example, in California, wildfires. I don't care if you agree with it, you don't agree with it. This is, listen, it's affecting California, right? Meaning that you have these fires that's going on. And if these fires constantly happen year after year, what happened to the insurance premium? The insurance premium goes up or they can't get insurance at all. Look at Southeast Louisiana, New Orleans, right? You have the flood, right? Insurance is going up. Even if you're in the X zone, the flood insurance policy premium is higher now. Why? Because of all the hurricanes, all the flooding that happened. So these are natural disasters that's affecting the housing market. But your landlord can't not just 
pay those extra fees and not pass it along to you. But what if you are a homeowner? So the first goal is to get education, responsible homeownership education, get your finances in order, just like you're doing watching this video, so you can be a homeowner for the future. Secondly, you want to start to buy properties yourself. There's many different strategies to invest in real estate. You have cash flow, like we just spoke about with your landlord. Number two, you have fix and flip. Uh, number three, you have wholesaling, right? You have different options in real estate to cash flow, right? So you want to be able to get yourself in a position that you have these three solutions written down, it's clear, it's a passion here, and you want to make it a burning desire, right? You want to read your financial plan every single day. You want to focus on it every single day so it can take, it can be what? Top of mind. So listen, guys, I hope this information was helpful to you. Call me, text me. My direct number is 504-270-2783.